Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do the part 4 of the topic playing with numbers. So now let us see the next exercise that is 2.5. We have to find the SCF of the numbers by listing down the common factors. So these are the numbers 99 and 33. We have to find out by finding the listing down the common factors. So uh, for 99 the common factors are uh, so factors are first uh, this 1, 3, 9, 11, 33 and 99. Uh, you can also check with this one. So 99 is going to be, it will start with 3, 3, 33, then 3, 11, 11 ones are. So what you can see the factors? 3, 1, 3, then we can we can also take this one as 9, then 11, then 33 and 99. So for factors of 33 again you can see by which number it is divisible by that. Also you can do it. 1, 3, 11 and 33. If you find it then you can do it with the help of the prime factorization. Find it difficult if it's a big number. So common factors with this one is Can you see here 1, 3, 11 and 33. So we have to find out the SCF of that. So we have to take the common factors. So we can say, and what did they say here? Find the SCF of the following number by listing down the common factors. So actually with the help, this one, when we see the common factors is this one. So we want the SCF of that. So we have to see the highest one. From this one, which is the highest one? That is 33. First, we'll find out, see the common factors, and then we'll see which is the highest number in this one. So that is 33. So it's safe of these numbers is 33. Now for 25 and 45, uh, 45. So 25 again, you can see 1, 5, and 25. 45, you can see these all numbers are the factors of 45. So from this one, which is common, so we can see 1 and 5. So which is the highest number in this one? That is 5. So we can say the largest of these factors is 5. So the SCF is 5. Again here we can see these are the factors. You can see the common ones. Common are. You can check it. The, the steps are given over here. And which is the largest of this is 20. So we can say the SCF of these numbers is 20. Again here the same. You can just have a look at it. So. Largest is this one, so it's safe is 5. Again, for this number, these are the three numbers. Again, 21, 42, and 70. We can see for this like this. 1. And what we can see? That is 7. So, the common should be in all three. So, the largest is 7, so it's safe is 7. Again, for this, have a look at it. These are the similar ones, only the numbers are different. So you don't need any explanation for this one. So answer is also given over here. So the largest is 9. So now here, uh, that was for the listing one. And this they said, find the SF for the following numbers by prime factorization. So these are the, this is the prime factorization method. So 21 and this one, 3 7s are, 7 1s are. Again here, 3 15s are. And here always in prime factorization, we have to see that we have to go with the lowest number. We'll start with 2, if not with 3. 4, 5 and so on. So here it was not possible with 2 because this is 45 so we went for 3. Again here the same. So now what will you do? You will. These are the factors. You will write it separately over here. Again these are the factors for 45. You write it separately and then you have to see which are the common one over here. This is 3. So here we can see whenever we take here with the help of this prime factorization we can say hence the SCF of this one is 3. In the listing one, we have to look at the largest number and here we have to look at the only what is common. Again here, these are the factors. So what is common over here? 3 and 3. So what we can see? 3, 3 is a, that is 9. So it's safe is 9. Again here, what you can see? These are the factors. So what is common over here is 19. So it's safe is 19. Again, these are the three numbers. Again, you take the prime factorization here. These are the factors. 
so you'll write it separately and then look for which is common so what you can see here common is 2 2 and 3 so 2 2 and 3 2 2 is a 4 4 2 is a 12 so it's safe is 12 again here you can look at have, have a look at it 5 so SF is 5 again here 2 2 and 7 so 2 2 is a 4 4 7 is a 28 so SF is 28 Okay, so now this this is with the we can have to find the SF with the help of the long division method. So now look, have a look at this one long division number uh, here a method that is now you will write a one zero eight. Uh, you know what is here? This is the dividend. This is the divisor. This is the quotient. And whatever remains is the remainder. So now, uh, first, what you are going to do? This is with the help of the long division method. Means you are going to divide this one, and now after dividing here, you can see here the remainder is sixteen. So again, what will you do? You will just see this and this. So the divisor you will look at it. So again, you will do ninety-two. You are going to divide by sixteen. So sixteen five is eighty because sixteen six and ninety-six is not possible. Again, here the remainder is twelve. So now you will go for this and this divisor. So you will divide by this sixteen. Sixteen one. So here 12 ones are 12, so the remainder is 4. So again, you will look at this and this. So now what will we have? 12, so 4 threes are 12. So now you got the remainder as 0. So when you get the remainder as 0, you have to stop at this point. But you have to see the last divisor. Now what was the last divisor was 4. See, always see the last divisor. Now you know what is a divisor. So what is the last divisor? Because here you got 0. So last divisor is 4. So we can say, see, last divisor of the division is 4. And the SF of this is 4. Again, now you will look at here. Because 35 threes are you cannot take because it is 105. So here you will stop at this 70. Again, this is 20. So now we will take this and this one. So uh, 40 is not possible. So 21s are 20. So the remainder is 15. So you will see this and this. So you will divide the, this 20 divided by 15. So here the remainder is 5, so we'll see this and this one. So 15 divided by 5, so that is 3. 5 threes are 15, so the remainder is 0. So this is the last divisor. So SCF is 5. Again here, 21 ones are 21. So here the remainder is 12. You will look at this and this one. So 21 divided by 12, 12 ones are 12. 24 is not possible, 12 twos are 24. So the remainder is 9. Uh, you will look at this and this divisor. So again, you are going to divide 12, this 12 divided by 9. So 9 ones are 9, so you get 3. Again, this 9, you will divide 9 divided by 3. So 3 threes are 9, so remainder is 0. So for that, which is the last divisor is 3. So SCF is 3. Same for here. You can just have a look. So what is the last divisor is 22 because here you got 0. So the SF is 22. Again here, here what we can see, we, we, this is the one at the first step we get 0. So this the remainder, uh, this divisor is 156. So the SF is 156. Again here, here what are we going to do? First we'll take these two numbers. So we get here 0. So now what will it see? We will see the last divisor over here. So again with this help of this divisor, what you are going to do? You are going to use the third number. So 140 with this last divisor. So you will get, can you see here? You get 0. So the this is 5. So we can say that SCF is 5. The length of a floor is 4 meter 44 centimeter and the breadth is 3 meter 30 centimeter. What is the maximum length of square tiles that can completely cover the floor? So here, length of a floor that is 4 meter and 44 centimeter. So what we can do here, we can make it to this whole thing, we can make it to centimeter. So you know 1 meter is 100 centimeter. So 4 meter, because this is 4, 4 meter will be 400 centimeter. This 400 centimeter plus this 44 centimeter, that, that is going to be 444 centimeter. So this is what I have written over here. So now this is the length is given as 444 centimeter. So the breadth is given as 3 meter and 30. So again, you will do this means 
3 meter will be 300 centimeter. So 300 plus 30 that is going to be 330 centimeter. So now what will you do? We want we, we want a maximum length of square tiles that can complete. So we'll take the HCF of this 444 and 330. So now see here. Uh, now we will take where we can do this with the help of the time factorization. So what do we get here? 37 here. No, 37 ones are. So you can just put over here this one. So this will be one. 37 ones are 37. So now uh, I will look at this one. So these are the factors. So we can write here 444 this. This factors over here and this over here. So now what we can see for see if you have to look at the common one. So this and these are the common ones. So 2 into 2. Uh, 2 into 2 is a, uh, 2 is a 4. 4 is a 12 and 12 37 is a 12. 7 is a 84. 12 is a 36. 37, 38, 39, 40 and 44. So here. Sorry, this one actually. Yeah, there is a mistake over here. You have to. Okay. So the three is common. So two and three. So that is going to be six. Hope you got this one. So SCF is six. So we can say the maximum length of uh, square tiles that can completely cover the floor is six centimeter. Now find the greatest number that will divide one to one, 33 and 55 living remainders, one, three, five. And this is respectively. So what we can see the greatest number that will divide this one, one or this one, uh, leaving remainders as one, three, five. Is what we what is that? Is the difference between the given numbers and the respective remainder? So now see here. This you have to take the difference of one twenty one minus one that is one twenty. So then you will take the difference of this one that is thirty one, uh, thirty three minus uh, three that is going to be thirty, and then you are going to take this one fifty five minus five that is going to be fifty. So what did you get here? One twenty, thirty, and fifty. So it's safe of 120, 30, and 50. So because now see here, difference between the given numbers and the respective remainder. So now you are going to take the SCF of this one. So what do you get here? 120, 30, and this. These are the factors. So now what is common over here? 2 and 5. So that will be the SCF is 10. Hope you got this. The number when divides 41 and 68 leaves 5 as the remainder. What is the number? So now what will you do from this 41, you are going to subtract this 5, that will be 36. Again from this 68, you are going to subtract 5, that is 63. So you are going to take the SCF of this 36 and 63. So now what is the SCF here? 3 and this is 3, means this is a 9, so the number is 9. A shopkeeper has 84 maths books and 154 science books. She wants to put them into small packets, each containing the same number of books. What is the greatest number of books that can that can be put into each packet? So number of maths book is how much? That is 84. Number of science book is 154. So first thing we'll find out the SF of this one. So 84 and 154, these are the factors. So now let us take the common one because here SF means we have to take the common. So two sevens are 14. So the Shopkeeper can put 14 books in each packet. There are 45 cars, 81 scooters and 42 bikes in a parking lot. If they arrange an equal number of rows, find the maximum number of vehicles in each row. So number of cars is 45, number of scooters is 81, number of bikes is 42. And to find maximum number of vehicles, what you have to do? You need to find HCF of 45, 81 and 42. So now see here, first we'll take these two numbers. We'll do this with the help of the long division. So now 45 and this one will be, uh, this is going to be a remainder is 36. Again, you have to take this and this, that will be 45. So this is going to be 9. Again, you are going to look at this and this divisor. So 36 is here, 36 divided by 9, that will be 4. So the remainder is 0. Now, what is the last divisor is 9. So what will you do? This 9, you are going to take the third number. So 42 divided by 9, the last divisor. So now what will you do? 9, 3 is 36 because 9, 9, uh, 9, 
fours are that will be sorry this is going to be four nine fours are 36 and then what are you going to do you are going to take your six so here it is going to be again the, uh, this and this you are going to take here it is going to be nine and uh, six ones are six so it is going to be three so you are going to look again with this one so what is this here six divided this is going to be zero so the last divider here is three so what we can say hcf of this is three and we can arrange the vehicles with the maximum of we can say three vehicles in each row because we have the hcf as three in a showroom there are 342 red 450 blue and 360 white dresses if all the dresses were arranged in equal number of rows what is the maximum number of dresses in each row so number of white dresses this is 342 blue is 450 white is 360 so to find the maximum number of dresses in each row we need to find the SF of this one so again this also we can do with the long division you will take this for two numbers here 450 divided by 342 it will be 1 and the remainder is going to be 108 so now this 2 you will take 342 divided by 108 so it is going to be by 3 the remainder is 18 again you will do with this and this divisor you will take this number over here so 18 6 are 108 so the remainder is 0 now this is the last divisor this divisor we are going to take with the third number so this uh, 360 divided by 18 so it will be this will be 20 so what is the last divisor over here so that is 18 this one so the SCF of this is 18 so we can arrange the dresses in those with the maximum number of 18 dresses in each row find the greatest number that divides these numbers are given leaving 1 4 and 1 respectively so now see here the remainders are given so this first thing you are going to subtract you will get 450 when you subtract this one you get 324 when you subtract this and this one you get 672 so now these are the numbers so we'll take the sf of these numbers so now you will take first uh yeah you can also do with the long division or you can also take the prime factor anyways you can do it so now i've done this one here with the help of the prime factor so these are the factors after doing all these numbers so now see same thing you written over here so now you have to take the common ones so what is common 2 and 3 that will be 6 so it's safe so the number is 6 a floor mat of dimensions 459 centimeter and 355 centimeter was cut into square shaped door mats and it was found that a piece of 9 centimeter by 5 centimeter is left so what is the maximum length of the door mat so now what you can do here so you have 459 and left is 9 centimeter that you have to subtract and this is because the dimensions are given means this is the length and from this one 9 centimeter is left from the length one and here 450 uh, 355 and this 5 from this one so you have to subtract this from this one so 355 minus 5 so this step is very important hope you got this one because and means this is the length and this is the breadth of it so here now what will you do you got these two numbers you will take the shape of this you can do by any method so I did here with the help of the prime factorization and these are the factors so now you will take the common so what are the common 2 5 and 5 so this is 25 25 to the 50 so 50 centimeter so the maximum length of the door mat is 50 centimeter now the next one the length breadth and height of a tank are 540 centimeter 270 and uh, 420 centimeter respectively what should be done? the maximum length of a measuring tape to measure the dimensions of the tank perfectly so these are the dimensions given so we will take the SF of that first uh, do with the help of the prime factorization you will get the factors now let us take the common ones so common is here 2 5 uh, 3 and 5 so here it will be 2 3 and 5 so 6 5 is 30 so maximum length of the measuring tape should be 30 so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts thank you